A lot of excitement in the field in, in general right now. What I'm excited about is making the next generation. And I really think that the car we initially started with that's now FDA approved, supported by the Alliance's funding in 2004, is generation one. And that we're going to be able to make uh, generation two, which will be more potent and safer. So we're excited about making cars that are more potent, can work in tumors where they don't work right now, such as pancreatic cancer. And we're also excited about the opportunity where we already have a 90% CR rate in leukemia, but can we make that drug less toxic? So the, the field's advancing very rapidly and we're gonna see many new kinds of cancers being treated in combinations with other kinds of cell and gene therapy. For instance, trials we've just reported using viral therapies, engineered viruses of which have been supported by the Alliance for Cancer Gene Therapy with CAR T cells. And we've done sophisticated analysis that can detect one single cell in less than a million, and we can't find any cancer. So we think they are probably cured. Cure's a big word, and that's been the goal from the beginning, I have to say, for cell and gene therapy. It wasn't to hit layups. In, a, in basketball terms, it was trying to hit three-pointers.